I'm going for a tattoo this morning as I've wanted it for six years and just there's always something that pops up well, today is the day I'm finally getting this fucking tattoo now I'm getting a chest tattoo I've been leaving myself go over the last couple of years uh, basically my body is going to shit and I figure if I have a really cool tattoo <laughs> I want to show it off. Well, I can't have a fucking dead bod, can I? So this tattoo hopefully puts me under pressure to get back in shape. So let's see how this goes. I might fucking die of a heart attack getting this fucking tattoo, but let's see how it goes. If I go outside and see the dead bod properly. Are you ready for this shit? He's going to crash the internet. <laughs> This time next year, I'll be mint with mm. a big tattoo here. Mm. All right? Okay. That's it. Me six years ago. Big difference. Right, I'm in town. My tattoo in an hour. So I just decided to go get a quick breakfast. And obviously a pint. Because I'm nervous as fuck. So I'm just launching. Easy bit done. Oh shit, here we go. Right, so it's been a, a week since I got my tattoo. Uh, yeah, it turned out okay, it's healing a lot. Seamus was asking me uh, what's the meaning of the tattoo, and uh, I was just thinking it's a cool looking tattoo and I've wanted it for a while, but now when I really think about it, um, it's to basically mark a time in my life where I wasn't happy with myself. And I chose to take charge and change things. And uh, this tattoo, I suppose, means, yeah, just that. that this was the time I was 49. And, uh, yeah, I just turned 49. And I wasn't happy. And I wanted to change my health because I'm having problems with my stomach. I'm having my heart is missing beats, skipping beats. I'm getting anxiety. I have a problem drinking. Like, there's a load of stuff I just want to change, so this tattoo is basically a representation of uh, me changing things and just taking charge of the situation and to live a healthier life and hopefully by my 50th next April I'll be fit. So, anyway, that's it. That's it about the tattoo. Um, now I'm going to adjust these coilovers. So, the goal this morning is to adjust the coilovers on my twin cam. Uh, the car has been set up for drifting, obviously. Uh, Seamus has had the car. So I'll be driving that car every week as a daily. So I just want to set it up for the road, soften up the suspension a bit, and guess what? None of those G spanners, those G clamps, or whatever you call them, for adjusting the coilovers. Couldn't find them anywhere. Typical, isn't it? I had a garage clear out there a few weeks ago. And I think I must have fucking just thrown them out. So, I have to drive seven miles into town to see if I can buy some more. So, that's it. I'm on the road. Going to town to see if I can buy some more. And of course, no joy. I've tried the whole fucking town. No one is selling those fucking G spanners or G clumps. Typical, isn't it? So, after all that, I text my mate Simon to see if he had any and uh, look, he had an old set there so I just wasted all morning no, it is what it is ok, let's get these coilovers adjusted so, obviously I have her jacked up and all uh, what I like to do is have her jacked up, support the axle and then uh, what I do then is I just undo those two 
bolts on the end of the, the shocks and then what I'll do is I'll just lower down the whole unit and then I'll take out the springs and that's it, that's the way I do it it's just a 14 here and up so I'll just be adjusting this part here so yeah, lower the whole thing down and uh, hopefully these springs just pop out and uh, I can adjust them right, so not off uh, use one of these forks that's it, just pops off I know it's hard to see, but uh, that's the space that I have here. Um, it's basically a socket. It's a nine millimeter socket. That's the space that I have. Now I want to widen that. So what I usually do is I just use a like see the way I'm using a, like a nine socket for a feeler gauge here. I want to bring this up to more like a nineteen socket. So. I'll just use the socket as a feeler gauge on each side and then I don't need to count any treads or anything like that. I'll just put the 19, I'll adjust it and I'll have the 19 on both sides and the 19 will be the feeler gauge. But I think I'm going to get away with not having to take these springs out because I've got a crack on these and uh, I'll be able to adjust them in the car. But there's plenty of space here so I can adjust them then. I'll just show you, there's the 9, that's what it is and then it's going to be out to a 19. Here you go. That's my number 19. Nice. I'll just do the same on the other side. Perfect. Simple. Right, so there's the back done. I know the height looks shit, but I haven't brought it for a spin yet, so hopefully she settles down a bit. I hate having that gap, but uh, what can I do? We need a bit of comfort. Those kids are going to be fucking rattled if I leave it sitting on the floor. So now, job done. Um, I managed to order a bonnet. It's just a standard bonnet for this. Um, it should be uh, arriving for next Wednesday. So, that's the next job.